In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to find the maximum area of a rectangular pen, because who among us hasn't wondered how to get the most sheep in a pen next to a river? So optimization problems are challenging for a few reasons. One of the main reasons is that we're not really given any formulas. And in calculus, we're used to having a formula and just kind of taking the derivative and going from there. So our biggest challenge with an optimization problem is going to be starting by writing a formula. In this particular example, I have a farmer who's got 1,500 meters of fencing, and he's looking to make the biggest possible area with that fencing. So in this situation, the farmer is going to build his pen next to a river. And because of that, one of the sides is taken up by that river, so we only need one length of the rectangle. So I have two widths, which I've called x, and I've called the length y. So I'm going to start by trying to write a formula for the quantity that I'm trying to maximize. In this case, that's area. So I know the area of a rectangle is length times width. In this case, I'm going to write it as x times y. So that's our length times our width. So that's our first step. Our goal is to find the maximum area. So I want to eventually take the derivative of this function. But you can see I can't do that because I've got two unknowns. You can try taking the derivative here. It's not going to work. So our second step is to write another equation using the given information from the problem. So the problem tells us that we have 1,500 meters of fencing. And we know that that's the perimeter of our rectangle. So what I can do is say I have 1,500 meters of fencing, and that's going to be equal to 2x's plus 1y. You can see in my diagram, I've got two widths, and I'm adding one length. So I now have two equations. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my second equation, and I'm going to rearrange it in a way that I can solve for one of my variables. And you'll see why in a moment. In this case, it's easiest to solve for y. So I'm going to bring this 2x over to the other side, and I end up with 1,500 minus 2x, and that's going to be equal to y. What I'm going to do with this rearranged equation is I'm going to substitute it into my original equation for area. And when I do that, I end up with area equals x times 1,500 minus 2x. You can see here I've now eliminated the y variable from my area equation. So I now have an equation with one variable. Now that's exciting for us because that means we should be able to take the derivative. So this is an expression for area. What I want to do is simplify this expression first before trying to take the derivative. If I tried to take the derivative right now, I'd have to use the product rule. I don't want to do that here. I want to make my life as simple as possible. So I'm going to say my area expression is equal to 1500x minus 2x squared. I've just used the distributive property to simplify. At this point, what I want to do is take the derivative of this function. Because remember, when I take the derivative and I set it equal to 0, I have a maximum point. And remember, that's what we're trying to do here is maximize area. So I'm going to take the derivative just by applying the power rule for derivatives. That tells me that the x disappears. I can take this 2, bring it down, multiply by that 2 to get 4x. So that's my derivative. Like I said, I'm going to take this derivative. I'm going to set it equal to 0. And that's going to tell me the location of my maximum. If I solve for x here, I found the location of my maximum on the x-axis. So I'm going to bring the 4 over to the other side, and I end up with a nice linear equation in terms of x. Dividing 4 on both sides, I end up with 375. So at this point, what I've found is the location on the x-axis where my maximum occurs. So the original problem was asking for the dimensions of the rectangle that give me the biggest possible area. What I've done is I've found this x value. So if I make my pen 375 meters wide, I should get the biggest possible area. Now the question asks for the dimensions. So what I'm going to do is take this x value, and I'm going to go back and look for an equation for y. You can see here I have 1500 minus 2x equal to y. So why not just take this x value and replace the x in this equation with 300? And 75. That will tell me the y value or the length of my rectangle. So doing a little bit of quick math here, I've got 1500 minus 2 times 375. 375 times 2 is 750. If I subtract 750 from 1500, I end up with 750. So you can see here that the length of my rectangular pen should be 750 meters. So if I wanted to find the maximum area possible, what I could do is just multiply 375 times 750, 
because remember, I'm working with area of a rectangle, and that's how we find area of rectangles. I'm not going to do that in this problem, because at this point, what I've done is I've successfully applied calculus to find the dimensions that maximize the area. So in general, these problems can get really complex, but really at its core, all you're doing is following a very simple process. You're coming up for an expression for the quantity that you're hoping to maximize or minimize. You're coming up with another equation, given the information of the problem, rearranging that equation, substituting into your original equation that you're trying to maximize or minimize. You're simplifying, taking the derivative, setting it equals zero, and finding one of the dimensions. Once you have the first dimension, you can take that dimension, substitute it into your rearranged equation to solve for the second. So this was a pretty simple example overall, but if you have a more complex example you'd like to see, leave me a note in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching.